Did you know that Jacob Bertrand had a fabulous childhood on Nickelodeon and Disney Channel? What jobs does he find himself getting into other than acting? And is he as badass in real life as he is on TV? Keep on watching to find out more. A Glittering Career 20-year-old actor Jacob Bertrand was born on March 6, 2000, and is currently one of the biggest breakout stars from Netflix's hit TV series, Cobra Kai. With fans being eager to watch season 4 of the show, its cast members have never been more popular. Jacob is no exception. Everyone is trying to get a glimpse of his real life to get to the real story behind his success. However, to find out what led him to become the legendary Eli Hawk Mozowitz on Cobra Kai, we need to dig a bit deeper and look at just how he got to where he is. Although it's not anything unusual, not every actor can say that they starred in big shows produced by Nickelodeon or that they had a career on the famous Disney Channel. It seems like Jacob Bertrand has done it all and had started to pave his own way ever since he was a little boy. Bertrand debuted as an actor when he was only seven years old. He played a minor role in a 2008 movie called House and from there he continued to attend more and more auditions. His other role was in a movie, Juris, from 2009. Before he landed some big roles on Disney, Jacob had a very good name under Nickelodeon. The production team cast him in various roles, and that secured him a nice check. He was a stable actor in Nickelodeon's sitcom Marvin Marvin, where he portrayed Henry Foreman, but other than that, he appeared on several episodes of the fan favorite iCarly. Despite it being just a minor role, you might remember him as Chip, and his deadly stare could freshen up your memory too. He also had a small part on Parks and Recreation, plus he did some voice work for Nickelodeon on their series The Legend of Korra and Bubble Guppies. The producers from Nickelodeon tried to cast him in everything they could, and so Jacob appeared as Charlie Murphy on the TV series Jinxed as well. However, when he became part of the Disney family, media all over the world called him the next rising star. All that was thanks to his roles in TV shows like Kirby Buckets and Neck P. Island. Disney also asked him to voice Monty for their movie Rise of the Guardians, and so Jacob put another movie under his belt. His Disney career didn't end there, though. Bertrand starred in The Swap and had this to say about his experience on the set. The Swap is a great film with an awesome cast and crew behind it. It was definitely an experience switching gender roles. However, his last work for Disney was when he voiced Charma in the Lion Guard TV series that was inspired by the movie The Lion King. Right after that, he decided to hop on something different and landed a role outside the Big Disney house. In 2018, he auditioned for Cobra Kai and got a call back to play none other than Eli Moskowitz. The rest is history. A Surprising Heart Despite the fact that Jacob Bertrand plays a very skilled karate kid on the series that might have broken someone's bone or two, he is actually the biggest sweetheart in real life and loves to do nothing but help others. In 2015, he took part in a charity event that tried to raise money for cancer patients. The fundraising campaign was based on numerous different and fun activities, so Jacob decided to participate in a gun shooting. However, instead of using real guns, the participants were given Nerf gear and tried to raise as much money as they could. But it's not the only charity event he attended. In October 2016, he was spotted at the 27th annual celebrity fundraiser called A Time for Heroes. This event was hosted by Elizabeth Glasser, and its goal was to raise awareness for the victims of HIV and AIDS. Plus, it tried to educate people about HIV itself. Seems like not every guy we see on TV has a heart of steel in real life, too. Jacob's Secret Ambition Not many people know this, but Jacob is not only a fan of acting, but he would love to dip more into some directing. And actually, he has already managed to experience a little bit of that. In an interview for Flaunt Magazine, Jacob revealed that he had an idea for a short movie already a few years ago in high school, but he never had the means to actually make it. When he was cast for Cobra Kai, he met with Hiro Koda, who was one of the stunt actors for the series, and asked him if he would be willing to help with the filming. Koda was eager to show support for this young talent and decided to see what the film is about. Jacob said, He said he'd love to and we started prepping it. We shot it in one day over in Alabama. Pretty fast shoot, but I'm so happy with how it came out. The short movie Jacob made is called Judd's Decisions and is only three minutes long. It follows a small episode in the life of a young man played by none other than Jacob himself. What happens is that Judd gets high and hears some voices. He realizes that it is a woman who is screaming for help and soon he finds out that she is getting inappropriately approached 
approached by a random guy who doesn't want to let her go. Now Judd has to make a decision and he envisions different scenarios in his head. At first, he thinks about what would happen if he called the police. In this part, he tries to showcase the moral dilemma, help someone but possibly get in trouble for getting high. In another scenario, he himself fights the guy and wins the woman's heart. The last scenario goes fast and ends up with Judd getting beaten by the stranger. At the end of the short movie, Jacob's character is sitting on the ground and continues to smoke his blunt. However, the police come over and arrest him. Interesting thing about Judd's decision is that not only Hiro Koda from Cobra Kai was part of it, but also the actress Gisette Valentin, who portrays the woman in it, is a part of the Netflix TV series cast. She plays Sarah and has a small part in season 3 in the episode King Cobra, where she fights against Tori. Thanks to this, fans quickly gathered that Jacob must be on good terms with his fellow cast members, which only proves his good nature. Trouble in the Writing Room It's safe to say that Jacob Bertrand wouldn't be as big as he is now if it wasn't for his role of Hawk on Cobra Kai. Although he portrayed a terribly mean bad guy in the first two seasons, we could observe some kind of a character development in season three. He started to become a good guy fighting for the Miyago Do, but who knows where it will go in the next season. However, Jacob Bertrand wasn't so sure about this whole character change, and he decided to voice his opinion loud and clear. Jacob said, I voiced that to the writers, like, guys, I don't know if people are going to believe this because of how horrible he is. I didn't know if people were going to buy it, like, you know what, I just want to be good now. But honestly, after watching the season and seeing how it played out, it definitely works. As you can see, Jacob is really not scared to point out what he likes and what he doesn't, even when it comes to his job. With his amazing work ethic, this is just another great personality trait he can be proud of. But his experience on Cobra Kai wasn't his first introduction to the world of karate. When he was interviewed with his co-star, Sholo Marie Duena, he revealed that he actually used to practice karate when he was younger. Jacob said, I did like a couple years of karate, but I forgot all of it. The guys also revealed a secret from behind the scenes, and it turns out they were fighting. While filming the series, the boys were involved in a scene where they were supposed to slightly hit each other. However, Sholo accidentally hit Jacob too hard and straight to his face. It resulted in Jacob bleeding, but the whole thing was soon over, and now they only laugh about it. Big Dreams, Bigger Plans Jacob has a lot more on his bucket list to check out until he is completely satisfied. He has a lot of hobbies. Bertrand loves to spend his free time playing the guitar, but he is even happier when he can go hiking or rock climbing. Seems like he just enjoys being constantly in motion because this guy apparently knows how to do some surfing and skateboarding too. In the Flaunt interview, he revealed that, I love going out and climbing with friends. Jacob is also a pretty big fan of fashion, but he tends to keep it more simple. His favorite fashion brands are Vans, and Quicksilver, so you will most likely not spot him wearing some cool Moschino outfit. However, when asked what his dreams regarding his acting career are, he had a quick response ready. I'd love to work with Edgar Wright. I absolutely love all his films and think he is freaking awesome. I'd love to play Edward Norton's son in something. He's awesome and talented. We can only hope that Jacob gets to achieve those dreams because he for sure has a bright future ahead of him. So there you have it, guys. What's your opinion on Jacob Bertrand? Do you like his portrayal of Hawk on Cobra Kai? And what do you think about about him outside his character? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.